Good morning everyone, it's Kai and today I have some stuff to do in NUS so I thought may as well walk around NUS Engineering and find some study spots while we're at it. We're climbing up the hill from Raffles Hall to Engineering and the first thing that you'll see is a newly built building, E7, and it's supposedly meant for biomed students. Let's take a look shall we? Alright, there's a symposium going on inside there so I guess I shouldn't be going in. Alright, so other than the Hux Coffee, there is a study spot that is on the left. I think it's made from like temporary seating, um, some tables and chairs, but I don't know if it's permanent. I hope it is, because that makes a very good study spot and it's air conditioned. So now we'll be heading on to the rest of the engineering blocks and the first place that we'll head up is E4. But before we continue, let's get some NUS Wi-Fi. NUS undergraduates can log in to NUS STU or NUS STU 2-4 GHz. In the Wi-Fi settings, ensure that your EAP method is PEAP, your Phase 2 authentication is MSCHAPV2, do not validate your CA certificate, or for Samsung and other certain Android versions, select unspecified. Your identity would be NUSSTU forward slash followed by your matriculation number and your password is the NUSNet password. Students will have to reset their NUSNet passwords every semester so do make sure to update your Wi-Fi settings or else you won't be able to log into the Wi-Fi in campus. With that out of the way, let's get back to finding more study spots. Hi, Editor Kai here. So this video is going to be more of a choose your own adventure style kind of deal. So along the way, you might see some arrows like these and alongside of it, there will be like some screenshots and a timing. So if you want to explore what's over at the intersections, then go ahead and skip the video to the timing. And once you're done, maybe come back because there's more places to explore. There are a lot of benches along levels 2 and 3 of block E4. This is also where you can find a lot of digital and electrical labs. So you might find yourself working here while waiting for your next lab session. Heading up to level 4 of block E4 is the common level which connects to all the other blocks. This stretch is usually quite busy during lunch hours and in between lectures. There are lots of tables along this stretch but there aren't that many electrical points to keep your laptops charged. Going by lecture theatre 6 are even more benches below with a couple of vending machines nearby. The canteen, Techno Edge, is also on the left. Moving past that are yet more benches leading up to an Arise and Shine. If they aren't too busy, you can probably study there. I haven't tried their food yet but they do serve breakfast. The intersection leads to blocks E2 and E3. At the first intersection is block E5 where there are a few booth benches. Going further would lead us up a long stretch. The first half of the stretch offers a few metal tables and benches with no electrical outlets. Even further along in the second half though is a rather cool place offering wooden tables and benches with electrical outlets and large towel coolers amidst a backdrop of some greenery to help soothe the eyes. By the way, these towel coolers, they're from a Singapore company called Avitad. It can drop the temperature of the surrounding air quite noticeably. This place which is cooled by it is comparable to the few air-conditioned study spots in engineering and should be a good place to study if the air-conditioned areas are fully taken or are too far from your next lecture location. Do check this place out. Moving along further is a link bridge with some seats. They have electrical points and fans, but the place is quite noisy since there's a busy road beneath. It is not my top few choices, but it's alright if the previous place is fully taken. There is an intersection up ahead, which leads us to either Lecture Theatres 3 and 4 on the left, or to the Chinese and Central Libraries on the right. Going left would lead us to Lecture Theatres 3 and 4. There are a few benches here, seemingly more than the other LTs, but there are no electrical sockets that I can see. Going even further would lead us to Yusuf Rishak House, but I don't see many people using that long stretch. Plus, it feels kinda creepy especially at night. Turning right would lead us to the Chinese Library and the Central Library with a few benches along the way. If you have gotten this far, you may as well study in the libraries. It's way more conducive over there. The Techno Age Canteen, located left of the Common Level's second intersection, has a lot of seating at Liho on the second floor and not as much seating around Starbucks on the third. By the way, all of the tables and chairs here are owned by NUS, so you don't actually have to buy anything from Starbucks in order to sit here. Hmm, I kinda wanna try the black tea one. Hi, uh, can I get the ruby grapefruit black tea? Alright, let's try it out.
Hmm, not too sweet. I kind of like it. Now back to the video. Going right from the second intersection is block E1. There aren't many benches along this stretch, but there are a couple of intersections here and there which can lead to a few study areas in adjacent blocks. There is a canteen further down the stretch to the right, across an uncovered walkway and on a floor lower which we can see over here. Furthermore, going all the way to the end is block EA, a big air-conditioned study area which we will get to in just about a minute. To the left of the third intersection is a small area with a few benches, all of them having power outlets. There are fans there, but I wouldn't want to use them. To the right side of the third intersection, past a few vending machines and printers and by the cashierless cheers, is a slightly larger study area with ceiling fans and a few electrical outlets under the seats by the wall. Going past that and walking all the way to the end of block A3, we can see a couple of benches and to the left of the benches is a walkway that leads to lecture theatre 1 on the left. There are a few more benches just outside of it and like other LTs, electrical outlets are not available. Going down one level to B2, we will reach a small air-conditioned canteen by the name of Wu Yang. This small halal canteen serves Chinese food and mala xiang guo, but I've yet to try it and do not know how good it tastes. Opening the door to the left and walking across the bridge, we will reach a small air-conditioned room with a good amount of tables and chairs at block EA's level 6. This room is more densely packed than other study spots for some weird reason, but it's not like I'm complaining about it. Exiting the room, we can see a roof garden with a few benches around it. There are also a few skylights which lets natural light into the big air-conditioned EA. It looks really cool and there's a Spinelli selling coffee and hot food, but most of the tables on the first floor do not have sockets. I'll recommend the seats on the upper deck as those are the ones with power outlets available. There are also a few small tables placed along the corridors at level 3 and you can try your luck at those if all the other spots are taken. These are all the study spots that I could find during my short walk around NUS Engineering. While I'm pretty sure I haven't found all of them, I think I've covered a good bunch. If you have any other places that you'd like to recommend, feel free to do so in the comment section below. Give a like if you found this helpful, subscribe for more NUS stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.